Hello, my darling, and welcome to day 33, third of the way through, of 100 Days of Self Love Challenge. Today, we're talking all about experiences, experiences rather than things. So, I don't know about you and what your kids are like and what your partner's like, um, but I'm of, a, I'm, I'm of an age, I'm of an age now, um, where I don't really need much do you know what I mean? Like, if I want something specific, I'll buy it for myself. But I really don't need any more dressing gowns or slippers or pyjamas or scarves or hats or perfume. I'm good. And when people don't really know you very well or, or they don't know what to buy you, they tend to buy you, like, skincare or, or toiletries or something, which I have got boxes and boxes of. And quite frankly, I re-gift quite a lot of them. Um, so I, I'm just not in the need for stuff. I'm not in the stuff market anymore. So what do we do? We get to a certain age and, and maybe, we, you know, without being rude or something, but I'm nearly, I'm nearly 50. I, I really don't need much anymore. And so, but some, you know, I've got my birthday coming up next month. And so what, if somebody says to you, what would you like for your birthday? As we're lovely women, and, and we're gorgeous and we're kind and we're not, we're not greedy or whatever. We will say, oh, well, you don't have to anything. Oh, you know, and we give these kind of answers. So that person then goes away and thinks, oh, right. OK, anything. Right. And it's quite stressful shopping for people when they don't really know what they want. I don't know about you. I've got two children. Two of my daughters always know what they want. And the third one never knows what it's one. So much easier for shopping for the ones that just go, yes, this is the list. Fantastic. So what I want you to think about, instead of just saying that there's nothing that you want or, or you know, because we're kind and we're not greedy, or just suggesting anything, you know, that's convenient for you, actually sit and have a think about this. And what I've started asking for, and it's an expression of self-love, I've started asking for experiences that I may want to do with one of them. So, for example um my okay different example my my eldest daughter's 23 and she asked me what did I want for Mother's Day and I said I'd love an experience where I get to to just take some time out that's what I said to her so for Mother's Day she gave me a spa day for one okay one person with an afternoon tea and use of all the spa facilities and a treatment perfect okay so easy for her to do because she, quite frankly, she's she works in a hotel. So it's a really, really easy gift for her to organise. Um, and I'm going to have this amazing experience where I just get to just stop the world for an afternoon and just get off and just be by myself and my thoughts and recharge my batteries. OK, perfect. Um one of, my, one of my dear friends has asked me, what do I want for my birthday? Because my birthday's coming up and she, she's a really organised human. She's that kind of person that like, you know, um, although, you know, we actually, <laughs> I actually sell planners and I sell birthday calendars and all that kind of stuff. I'm not quite on that scale that she is. Um, she, she knows, you know, she's got a budget for everybody and she knows what she bought them last year and the year before and the year before. Fantastic human being. What do I want for my birthday? So I said to her, do you know what I really want for my birthday? I want to go and make macarons with you because she's a great human to be around. So I said to her, I want to make macarons with you. I want to go and, and she found this macaron making workshop not too far away with this amazing French chef. And so her and I will go for the day and learn to make macarons. Why macarons? I really don't know. It's just, it's that kind of foo-foo fancy thing that I've just always thought, oh, do you know what? I love a macaron. And they're so expensive. Have you ever bought them? Oh, my days. They're really expensive, but they always look gorgeous. And I just feel like, oh, that would be a lovely centerpiece, whatever. So I want to make macarons for whatever reason. So her and she's going to buy me an experience for me and her to go together. So it's a lovely experience. It's a bonding experience. It's a time when we can just chill out and be and be relaxed and just take it easy in life. And it it's an experience that I've never had. Does that make sense? So... It's an expression of self-love rather than, and, and it's an easy, this is the thing you always have to understand as well. It's an easy gift for somebody to buy because you're just telling them what you want. You know, that you don't have to, <laughs> it's really hard to buy things for people quite often, right? So as an expression of self-love, think to yourself, what, 
what would I actually like to do? What is an experience I'd like to have and who would I like to have it with? And it's okay to sometimes say, I just want to unplug, you know, unplug and unwind on my own, or I want to go do this thing with you. So Mother's Day, Christmas, you know, um, birthdays, whatever. If somebody's asking you, somebody really wants to get you a gift. And as I said, you know, we get to a certain age where we have enough stuff. Maybe think to yourself, what's an experience? Maybe it's a hot water, um, not hot water balloon, air balloon thing, hot, hot air balloon. There we go. Hot air balloon uh, ride over the Somerset. I don't know if I have to say somewhere like that, but Somerset countryside, or maybe it's a, a day trip to Paris, or maybe it's a spa day, or it's a cooking class. Think about it. And it's a beautiful thing to be able to say to someone, actually, you know what? This is what I'd love. They'll enjoy giving it to you because they know it's what you really, really love. And you can be a collector of experiences and knowledge, which is a thing of beauty. All right, my darlings, listen, I hope that helps. Um Follow me if that's something that you, you want to do. Talk about mindset, motivation, perimenopause, midlife women, positive mindsets, and so much more. Take care and I'll speak to you soon.